Good morning class. Our lesson for today is about the properties of multiplication. But before we continue to the properties of multiplication, let us first refresh some of the multiplication facts. Okay, let's start. I have a problem here. The problem is, Krista has four cakes. Each cake has six candles. Now, how many candles are there in all? Okay. In the first cake, you have six. You will add another six candles and another six candles and another six candles candles in the fourth cake and the sum is 24 in this process you call this as the addition sentence let's now proceed to the multiplication sentence in the addition sentence we add 6 plus 6 plus 6 and plus 6 equals to 24 and the 24 called the sum. In multiplication sentence, we, set up, we separate the number of cakes into 4 and the number of candles in its cake which is 6. Now, we write 4 times 6 equals 24. 4 times 6 is called the factor and 24 called the product. Again, in the addition sentence, 24 is called sum while in multiplication sentence, it is called the product. You can also write it in a vertical way 6 times 4 is equals to 24 okay it means that the multiplication is the shortcut for repeated addition the factors are the numbers we multiply while the product is the answer in multiplication Again, multiplication is the shortcut for repeated addition. The factors are the numbers we multiply while the product is the answer in the multiplication. Let's now proceed to the zero property of multiplication. In the zero property of multiplication, when a number is multiplied by zero, the product is zero. Look at the example. There are three cakes and no candles. So three times zero is equals to zero. Again, when a number is multiplied by zero the product is zero it is called the zero property of multiplication let us have some examples of zero property 29 times zero is equals to zero zero times 120 is equals to zero and 38 times 0 is equals to 0. Multiplying a number by 0 is always equal to 0. Again, it is called the zero property of multiplication. The next property is the identity property of multiplication. Here is the problem. Joanne has three cakes 
Each cake has one candle. How many candles are there in all? Okay, let's analyze. The number of cake, three, and the number of candles in each cake is one. Therefore, three times one is equals to three. When a number is multiplied by one, the product is the same number. Again, when a number is multiplied by one, the product is the same number. Another example of identity property of multiplication. 10 times 1 is equals to 10. 1 times 120 is equals to 120. And 38 times 1 is equals to 38. Multiplying a number by 1 will give a product that is the same number. That is the identity property of multiplication. Let us now proceed to the commutative property of multiplication. The problem. Carl has two pencil cases. Each case has three pencils. How many pencils does he have in all? Let's analyze. The number of pencil case is 2. And the number of pencils in each case is 3. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. Therefore, Carl has 6 pencils. In the next problem, Rose has three pencil cases. Its case has two pencils. How many pencils does she have in all? Let's analyze. The number of pencil case are three. The number of pencils in its case are two. Three times two are equals to six. Therefore, Rose has six pencils. In the example above, both Carl and Rose has six pencils. Therefore, commutative property of multiplications means that changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Again, Changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Another example of commutative property. 10 times 5 equals 50. 5 times 10 is equals to 50. 38 times 3 is equals to 114. And 3 times 38 is equals to 114. Again, in commutative property of multiplication, changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you. See you again.